change your environment to change your life now. So today I am recording a slightly longer podcast than the shorts I've been doing, but still relatively short, all about how you can change your environment to change your life. Now, this is a little bit different for me because I'm actually recording this for the YouTube channel. I thought I'd do something a little bit different and do a video element to it as well. So if you're listening on Transform um, with Kirsty Carden and you actually just want to see my environment or actually see me um, as I do this podcast, feel free to head over to my YouTube channel. If you just type in Kirsty Carden into YouTube, I should come up and this should be the first video. Otherwise, if you're watching this on YouTube, hello, I thought I would just do something a little bit different. I'm feeling in a different kind of mood. I thought, why not just put the video on and record this, especially as recently I've decided just to do everything completely unedited. You know, normally this might be cut up into bits um, with my podcast editing team, but I'm actually just recording it straight, warts and all, it's going out there. So um, I thought I'd do a video as well. So <clears throat> what are we going to be talking about today? We're going to be talking about environmental change that is what this podcast is all about right it's about environmental change so I wanted to create a tangible episode and give you three ideas when it comes to environmental change and changing your environment things that you can do now and of course I'm going to be linking that to what I did last week so if you've been listening to the podcast recently if you've been following me you'll know that I've taken some time out recently and last week I took a week out um to basically recalibrate um, to have a social media detox. I had my longest period ever off of social media, which was lovely. Um, and I just had some time to myself, you know, recalibrating, uh, going on loads of walks, doing lots of different exercise and, you know, um, just creating that space. And what happened when I did that was I became more motivated. I had so many more ideas. Um, I ended up recording so this new mini series I've created. So you might have already seen that I've got or heard or listened to two podcast episodes I've already put out. They're mini episodes. They're all between two to four minutes long. So an additional podcast per week um, that I'm going to be bringing in as well. I recorded five of those and I wasn't even supposed to be doing any work. Um, I didn't have my laptop. I just literally did it via my phone because I had so many ideas that were flowing right so creating that space getting into a different environment you know this lovely new environment that I was in and I know this from every time that I do it spark new creativity it sparked new inspiration I felt different because the problem is when we're in the same environment all the time is we anchor states to that environment right so if I'm in my office again if you watch on YouTube you'll see me in my office hello um <laughs> you're in your physical environment even feeling stuck or frustrated or going around in circles or whatever the feelings could be, you'll start anchoring those feelings to that space, okay? So we have to do things to kind of break out of that, right? So um, for someone that could be, you know, just going out for a walk or it could be working somewhere else, it could be going away. So what I want to do is kind of bring it back to kind of three things that you can do, just using some of the um, things that came up for me last week and also what I'm going to be doing this weekend, just so that we can bring it into this environmental change aspect that I'm so passionate about because I really do believe that changing our environment, which as we know, you know, isn't just about your physical environment. It's about multiple things. And if you haven't listened to episode um, one of the podcast, um, the first episode where I go into detail about that in the system, please do, because I talk about it there. But this episode, I want to keep it nice and tangible and give you some stuff you can do right now. So of course, the first one is can you get away from your actual environment? Okay, so the first one will be changing your physical environment, and getting somewhere different. So this could be look like to you, going away for a night on your own. It could be working in a different office space. It could be doing what I did and go to a lovely health retreat. Or it could be, and if you haven't booked your space yet, it could be coming along to the Transform Mastermind Day I'm doing on the 2nd of December, right? So spaces with intention to get away. This could be on your own or it could be with other people. It depends on what you need. We do need to recalibrate with others, right? I didn't stay shut away in my room. Okay, I went out, I saw people, I mingled with people. 
Um, but I essentially was on my own, but I needed that space. And then I have things booked in where I'm going to be with other people too. We do need both when we change our environment, but it's really from that place of alignment. What is it that you need right now? What would really make a difference to you? So getting into another space. And like I said, I'm going to link it um, in the show notes, the Transform Mastermind Day. The, op- the offer on that is just about to end. So please check that out now. We'd love to have you there. You know, come into a day like that. Obviously, it helps you realign. It helps you recalibrate. It helps you transform from the outside in, create those plans, give you a space of transformation. It's created for that. It's intentional. And we've got to be aware that wherever we go, it's got to be intentional, okay? Because we could be putting ourselves into a worse environment, right? If you're feeling stuck, for example, in one environment and you're not feeling very motivated and you're not feeling great, and so you go to another environment and that environment's McDonald's and you eat crap and then you feel worse, that's not going to help, right? So the environment has to be in alignment with how you want to feel, what you want to achieve, okay? So after recording this podcast, I'm going to go to my open office that I work in and I'm going to go and work from there, be around the buzz of people and, you know, really recalibrate some of these ideas. I've got so much going on in the background, really pulling these things together. And it's laptop work, which is my least favorite work, right? I like to be with people, I like to do things. Um, It's the laptop stuff of getting all these ideas together and I've got to create certain things that got to be sent out. So um, that is what I will be doing. What could you do? So changing your physical environment. The second one is changing your current environment. At the end of the day, we live in a certain environment and we can't just go and, you know, kick up a move. (laughs) Every time we want to change our state, right? We can move the room that we're in, but we can't move from our home all the time, right? And I know some people actually do that. I moved around a lot as a child, so I know what that's like. But it could be changing the environment you're in. So now I've come back after this space that I've created for myself, and I'm still recalibrating. I'm not going to say that I'm just like, Ooh, back to like nine to five, not that I've ever done nine to five. Um, but, you know, like, you know, back on it like that, I'm now recalibrating all the changes, things I want to do differently, which I'm going to talk a bit more in point three in a second. But one of them can be uh, changing your current environment okay so I am going to be this weekend I've decided I've had lots of busy weekends doing lots of different things and this weekend I've got a bit of space I've just got um, my normal coaching session I go to in Windsor um, in the morning lots of information there Um, I'll be going into Windsor I've got a facial in the afternoon but apart from that that's all that's in the diary this weekend it's nice and open for the rest of the weekend I'm going to be decluttering my home um we got all these I bought all these beautiful new dining room chairs started to change my dining room a little bit and I want to paint one of the walls so I probably won't be doing that. I'll probably be getting my husband to do that, if I'm honest. But we'll be painting the wall, which made the the dining room is the center of our house. It connects where the living room is, the dining room, to the back room that we have, to all the the different rooms, basically. It's kind of the center. It's the big open space in the middle. So I think every time I walk down the stairs, every time I move through the house, that will look really different and it will feel different. So doing that into a color that psychologically represents how I want to feel as well okay I think that's really important so doing that this weekend decluttering I will smudge um so some of you might know what that is when you like you know burn um I can't remember what it's called it's gone out of my head and I'm not editing this podcast so I won't stay too long (laughs) otherwise before I would have just paused that found out the name and come back that's not going to be happening it's gone out of my head sorry about that it might come back randomly soon as I stop this episode um but when you burn it not incense I know you some of you are going to be shouting it down the podcast to me right now but you know what I mean when you um burn things <laughs> smudging it's called I'm trying to remember the thing that you burn but it's not coming so we will we will move on from that um but yeah making it feel different so it could be declutter decluttering is a massive one I've been doing a lot of decluttering anyway but there seems to be more to declutter right so um really looking at my space getting new flowers I'm going to be looking at my plants which ones could do with We've been revamped, maybe they've had their day, others bringing new ones in, new flowers, Um, just really decluttering more of my spaces as well Um, and painting and making my physical environment that I live in feel different. So again, that could be something for you. So you've got your getting out of that environment to another space and then we're looking at changing your current environment. Now, the third thing that you can do, and this links, you know, everything I'm talking about, I'm so in alignment to it, right? Um, And uh, social media. So getting off of social media, social media has become such a big environment for all of us that we seem to all be spending so much time on social media. Um, 
but sometimes we need to be off of it okay and I really found that when I completely went off of it and I stopped my friends from allowing me to just click on it easily it just gave me this space um I just I just felt like I had so much more time and even though that habit of clicking back into it was that was there I've now done it so that my phone doesn't allow me to. Okay. So there's a thing where you can say that you a screen time. If you've got an iPhone, it's on there. I don't know about other phones, phones, but um, you can turn your screen time to say, you know, don't allow you on these apps have downtime. It's called. So you can switch, you go to screen time. So settings, screen time. Um, and then you say, click downtime and it stops that. And I've also limited the amount of time I can spend on all these apps too. So when you're not on social media, you're just in the real world, right? Um, you're not clicking or going online all the time. Again, that changes your environment. So you're in your actual environment, right? The environment around you, which is really important for recalibrating, okay? Now, I'm going to be talking a lot about this, especially in the work when you do it with me, like nervous system regulation. To re-regulate, we have to be aware of our surroundings. We have to be looking. We can't just be staring at screens. That actually creates a stress response. I feel so much more relaxed. If you're watching this on YouTube, I just looked around my room right now. You might have heard it in my voice as I'm moving instantly I can feel it in my body right rather than staring at one thing so when we're on our phones all the time we're on our screens all the time we're staring at one thing which brings in that stress response okay so actually getting off it and also we get triggered by things we see we can't help it okay you know we will be triggered by certain things um, or we will be just pulled into looking at stuff that's not relevant to us and it's pulling us away from our goals and our values and what we actually want right so taking some time to be off of social media okay to stop your phones so you actually physically stop it um, so that you can't actually go on those apps it makes such a massive difference and it's one of the things at the time that you know I've taken out to really process how I want to change and evolve and it's not like I'm not going to be on social media but one of the things that I'm going to be doing going forward is limiting my time. So I just go on a couple of day, a couple of times a day and not to keep flicking in and out, in and out and out, which again, I can find that habit ends up happening without being able to control it. But now I've found a way to actually control these apps that puts me in control again. Okay. A bit like the episode I spoke about previously, right. About being in control. So Again, limiting your time on social media, decluttering your social media is a great one, making sure you're not seeing things that make you feel bad or that are triggering you a lot or, you know, things just aren't aligned to what it is that you want to be doing or seeing every day or friends that you haven't spoken to in ages or whatever it is or groups that you're no longer aligned to, whatever that is, you know. So again, social media, it's a big part of our environments now. Our digital online environment is massive. So actually taking some time away from that, okay? So it can be, one of these three things, and I'm just going to kind of, you know, recap that for you, for you. So number one, changing your physical environment by getting out of it, going somewhere else. Okay. This could be overnight. This could be coming to a day like the Transform Mastermind Day. This could be um, just maybe spend some time with friends. Okay. But actually getting out of that physical environment. And this, again, is something good to be doing regularly, especially when you've anchored certain feelings to that current environment. New ideas will come. You will feel different especially with if you're with others, you can get new ideas, things like that as well, you know, which is why I love creating days like the, you know, mastermind days, which I've been running for six years. Um, and they're absolutely phenomenal. Number two, you can obviously change your current environment. So really think about what is feeling not good in your current environment, right? Maybe there's clutter, maybe you don't like how certain things look, why not decorate, just get some new paint, get rid of things, bring in some new plants or some decorative things. It can, it can be very simple right someone who's you know spent six figures renovating a house obviously certain things cost a lot but simple little changes to just change it up a little bit don't have to be even be that expensive right sometimes they are maybe you want a new kitchen right I've done that the new kitchen the new bathroom the new living room the new garden right I've done all of that massive big stuff but you still every now and then need those smaller little changes right well actually I want to change up the color here actually this is feeling too cluttered um you know actually my desk isn't working for me anymore like my husband just got um, a standing desk desk right you just changed that up and you know that will help him feel more energized in the day so what can you change in your current environment and then the next is social media Re regulating how much time you spend there you know making sure you're not on the screen too much maybe it's decluttering it so think about what you can do and change your relationship to social media so like I said I'm going to be taking uh, I'm not going to be focused much on that I want to be focusing on good content which is why 
you know, the podcast is going to be such an important part, the newsletter list, the podcast, where I'm going to be able to communicate with you guys for free. And of course, there's days and, you know, ways of working with me, my academy, my mastermind, the mastermind days, working with me one-on-one, like ways that you can obviously get a lot more. But my, I'm going to keep putting out content, but more in a content-rich way rather than a distractive way and putting too much on social media, right? I think it can get lost. And here, you know, you can then kind of plug in, go for a walk, recalibrate and listen to this. And there's no one else's opinion, no one else saying this, this and that about it, no other distractions popping up. It's just you and what you want to listen to, right? And, you know, again, first podcast, I talk about the importance of this and why I created a podcast and why I did it now. And it's all there, you know, where I talk about that. So what I want you to do now is feel into those three things that you could do. Maybe you want to do one in each, or maybe you just want to pick one. And the first thing is just to pick one thing you could start with. Do you know what? I'm going to go and book myself on the Transform Mastermind Day. Welcome. I can't wait to have you there, right? Knowing you've got that and that is really going to transform the last part of your year and really going into 2023, right? Where we realign your identity. You're going, oh, it's just so much amazing stuff. All the stuff is there. Click the link because that will tell you all about the day. And I speak about that in last week's podcast as well. So it could be that you want to go and book that now. You've done that. You know that's coming. It could be that you want to go and book a solo trip overnight. Maybe if you want to come to the Transform Mastermind Day, book yourself a hotel. Have that night to recalibrate and think about it. A lot of people do that, you know. Um, they will book the hotel and, you know, have that space to themselves afterwards in the next morning. And a lot of people love that. Maybe it is, you know, having a social media detox this weekend. Maybe you want to declutter your house this weekend. Whatever it is, pick something you can do. And you will see how you will feel. You'll see how that transformation happens from changing your environment. So I hope you've liked this episode. As always, please share your takeaways um, on Instagram at Kirsty Khan. If you're not following me there, go and follow me there. Screen grab this episode. Share your biggest takeaways. What is it you're going to do to change your environment, to change your life now? That's it for today. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode over on Transform with Kirsty Carden. <laughs>